Hey guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to the second episode of... I don't even know what I'm going to be calling this, because I feel like Stampy Sky Island Randomizer Challenge is a bit too long of a series name, so I have no clue what to call this. I would call it Stampy's Randomizer Challenge, but it's not Stampy's Randomizer Challenge. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to be doing, but... We're recording this straight after I finished recording the last episode, which ended up being 23 minutes long, I believe it was, compared to the half an hour it took to record it. So I didn't cut it down too much, but I cut out all of the parts where I was just mining up the cobblestone from the cobblestone generator. I'm still getting better at editing, so I apologize for if I was bad. Really, that's all it is. And we're going to put that in there. We got a chest and another shulker box and an empty map um, after I ended the last episode. We might as well use this map. Yeah, pretty okay. We didn't really have a use for it, but I suppose this will show off our island, right? So, today in this episode, our next challenge, since we've completed two challenges already, the next challenge is to reach the limit of the world. But then, of course, we do have to get ourselves back down. And that is going to be the difficult part. Slime ball is pretty useful. So we do... This cat is meowing. In a really strange way. I don't know, I feel like just all animals make really weird sounds at night. I think that could just be what it is. So we do have to get up to the sky limit, or the world limit actually, and make it back down alive. Alive is an important part of that. Please don't fall off! Okay. Okay, good. I didn't want to make the cat fall, but I also needed to get into the house. So, we'll put that glass in there. So, what we might as well do is we can put this chest down. We'll put this shulker box down, too. Um, how are we going to do this? Because we've only got 19 cobblestone, and we don't exactly have a lot of other stuff. Hmm, let's see. We don't want to waste our wood on it. So, we're definitely going to just have to mine a load of cobblestone, I think. Or we can just wait for other blocks. <laughs> oh, wow. Diamond ore. Definitely keeping that. I mean, we could just wait to get loads of blocks, but that is going to take absolutely ages. I also don't know how many blocks it is to the limit of the world. So maybe if we get started, we've got 19 blocks here, but we'll start with 18. So we'll go up 18 blocks. And then we can jump down into the water right there. And then we're just going to have to ladder or build our way back up. I believe the limit of the world is at like 255 blocks or something. And we are currently at 142 height. So we've still got quite a while to go. And by quite a while, I have 100 blocks or so. So we need a lot of cobblestone for this. So, hmm... How are we going to do this? Should I cut and get the cobblestone, or should we get it in the video? I feel like, since it's <laughs> the main part of the challenge, I feel like we should probably record it, I guess? But we also got some cyan concrete, so we can, of course, use that. This didn't even fall in the lava. I thought it fell in the lava, but it didn't. We can also, since we've got our bed here, we're not allowed to sleep in it yet, but one of the challenges to sleep at night. We can't sleep yet but we will so we might as well place our bed in here for now until we can actually sleep in it okay i see so looks like we're just we've got a grindstone okay i mean put that in here why not there we go it's pretty cool okay yeah we've got a grindstone now but i think we might as well just sit here and mine up our cobblestone from our cobblestone generator hello hello okay Cat's scared of us. Or the ocelot. Ocelots have become quite useless since cats were added. Because you can't tame them anymore. I mean, you can tame them, but they don't become cats anymore. So they kind of, like, what purpose do they actually serve now? Smooth quartz. Nice. Yeah, what purpose do they actually serve now? I don't really know, to be fair. But we do have a lot of cobblestone mining up ahead, and it is going to take a while, and it's probably going to be a little bit boring, but we do have to do it in the episode, because obviously we need to show that we are making our way all the way up to the top of the world limit. And this cat 
is going to end up in lava, I can already tell. And we just got a crossbow. I mean, we don't have any arrows, but a crossbow is pretty neat. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to not take it. And I feel like I've gotten to the point again where I'm just hoarding blocks. I really should just throw loads of them out because, to be fair, I'm probably never going to use any of them. I feel like the only items you really need to keep are the ores, the tools, the, the swords, or the weapons in general, armor. Spawn eggs, I feel, are a very important one to keep around because you never know when you might need it. Spawners are pretty good. Dirt as well, obviously. And really just in general, things that you can't get easily. I feel like we should just keep, like, I mean, glass we're keeping because we ha only have so much sand on this island. But, you know, we don't really... Out of all this stuff, half of this we're probably never even going to use. Like the dye, to be fair. But we're keeping it anyway. Because why not? And we just got another piece of carpet. Don't we already have a piece of green carpet? I think we do. I don't... We're not going to go over there because the cat will genuinely fall off the island to its death. And we really, 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 really don't want that right now. So we're just going to keep mining our cobblestone, minding our own business. Hopefully it's going to become day soon. I don't think it is. Or I mean it is, but it isn't because with shaders it's kind of hard to tell. But we'll keep mining until it's daytime anyway. And hopefully that shouldn't take too long. And hopefully you don't get bored of it. I'm going to keep talking anyway. Just talking about things. I don't really want to... I'm sure quite a few of you are probably familiar with Stampy Sky Island Challenge. But I still don't want to, like, say the challenges for the people that don't know. That don't know them. I've done this challenge so many times. It's one of my favourite Sky Island challenges to do. I find it the most enjoyable, even though I've done it so many times. It's still quite difficult every time I do it as well. Which is quite funny. But, now we have completed two of the ten challenges, I believe it is. Yes, it is. I have them all wrote down from ages ago. I wrote them down the last time I did this challenge, and I just found the piece of paper, and I was like, okay, cool. Well, we've got, we got those to keep track of what we're doing. So, so far, we have crafted five torches, which we've put in our shulker box. Then, we also built a house with a door and windows. With a roof too, but that's not technically included, even though it definitely needs a roof. Otherwise, it's just not a house really, is it? So, we did add a roof there too. We also got trapdoor right now, which we don't really have a use for, but I mean, we'll take it anyway. And we're starting to build up our cobblestone fairly quickly, to be fair. I feel like two stacks is probably a safe amount. I feel like maybe we should go for a little bit more than two stacks, just to be on the safe side. And then we can try and jump in the water to make it back down alive. If not, we're going to spawn on the ground, and then we're going to have to fly back up here. Which does include opening my world to land, and we need to wait for this cobblestone to come back. There we go. Okay, so yeah, we're going to we're gonna mine two stacks and a bit of cobblestone, just to be on the safe side, because I don't know exactly, I'm pretty sure that the height limit is 255, but I don't know 100%, I mean I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, but that 1%, you know, you gotta be careful of that 1%, because you never know, that could be the part that you get wrong, where did I, I put the wood in the house, I really don't want this ocelot to fall off, I mean it's probably going to at some point, but I really just don't want it to. Okay, get in the house. There we go. We can shut it in the house. That's fine. Now this guy has no chance of falling to its death. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Stay in here. Don't leave. Okay. We could probably tame it if we get some fish at some point, which is going to be one of the challenges later on. Spoiler alert. We do need to go ahead and make another, another, another cobblestone pickaxe. For those of you that don't know and couldn't tell already, I tend to speak so fast that I think about the word I'm about to say before the word that I need to say. Like, if I was to say a sentence, and the sentence was, or just like, the cat was on the mat, right? So if I got to the was on the mat, right? Or the cat is on the mat, whatever. I would end up putting the word after a word as the word before it. And I don't know if that makes any sense. But like with a cobblestone pickaxe, we're making a pickaxe, but I went to say stone pickaxe, and I don't even remember what I said. Like stubble or 
Pubble Axe. I don't even know what I said at this point. But I put the two words together because I speak so quick. And then I end up messing up my words quite frequently. We've got some nice bread. We were starting to get a little bit hungry, so that is come in handy just in time. I appreciate that very much, like Sky Gods, as Wilbur Soot would say. There we go. We'll go back to mining our cobblestone. But yeah, I do tend to mess up on my words quite frequently and tend to put two words into one for no reason whatsoever. It's just a thing that I keep doing and can't stop doing for some reason. I just seem to speak that quick and I really need to slow my talking down. That would probably help it quite a bit. But I just find it so hard to talk quite slowly. Plus, I feel like that's kind of boring to watch. I don't know. I feel like I couldn't watch someone that spoke really slowly like this. Because why would you want to watch someone that talks like this? I mean, maybe you would. I don't know what you like. I just know for me that I wouldn't, I guess. So we are nearly... Oh, we got some wood. That's pretty cool. Some stripped dark oak logs is probably going to come in handy. We are nearly at two stacks of cobblestone, so we are almost there. We're not too far now, and honestly, this isn't taking anywhere near as long as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to take a heck of a lot longer than it actually is, because we are already at a stack of cobblestone. We're going to get, I think we're going to get a stack and 20 just to be on the safe side. I know we have other blocks in our inventory, we just got a music disc which we have zero use for at all. Well, actually, actually, that's not true. That's not true. For the people that know these challenges quite well, you may know the challenge that requires a music disc, but I will not say what that challenge is, but we will keep it just in case we need it in the future. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to get to two stacks and 20 cobblestone, and then we will start building up in hopes of reaching... The world limit. We just got a daylight sensor, which I don't think we're gonna have a use for. But oh no, we're not gonna we're not gonna have a use. I you also saw that I took some screenshots for the thumbnail, of course. So that's when I was recording this video, which is probably gonna be quite a while from when they're uploaded. But now that we've done that, we can start building up. Now this is the thing, because we'd already started building up. We might as well just build around it like this, and then we can go like this. We just got a banner pat and a globe. I mean, we'll keep it for later just in case. But we might as well come like this and build up. And hopefully, I mean, with the random blocks we've been getting, hopefully we will have enough materials. I mean, we might as well move them down here. We've got all of these. These are the free blocks, so we might as well just every once in a while just include them in this tower. I'm not too sure how high we're going to need to build. Like I said, I think it's 255 blocks, but I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. We also just got a fence, which I suppose we can use for an animal pen. Let's just press F3, and then we can see how high we're getting. We're at 170, nearly 180 now. So it's probably about another 60, 70 blocks to go, and I think, I think we should have enough cobblestone blocks. I feel like we probably should. And the challenge after this one is incredibly easy, because we already have the stuff we need for it. This is a trap chest. I don't know how, but in my head I was like, oh, it's a trap chest, before I even knew it was a trap chest. Not too sure how that works, but I kind of, I don't know how. Maybe the word popped up and I saw it and I just forgot or didn't take that notice, but kind of subconsciously noticed it. I don't really know. Look at the map glitching out down there. That is crazy. Okay, let's keep going. I think, ah, 256. I was one block off knowing what the build limit was. Man, I mean, I was close enough. I'll take it. But now we have to get back down and try and land in that little pit of water right there. Eventually, we will put a ladder on this so we can go all the way to the top and just look around, I suppose. I'm not sure why we'd need to do that, but now we need to try and get into this bit of water. I'm pretty confident that I can do it, but I don't know for sure. We're going to try anyway. We've got some granite stairs. Not really going to use those, but let's hope that we can do this. Okay, on the count of three, we're going to jump down, and then for the next challenge, 
I'll tell you in a second once we reach the ground, but okay. The count three. Ready? Three, two, and one. Okay, there we go. Please, 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 please. Ah, there we go. We did it. Okay, that is a tall tower. Wow, that goes all the way up. And there's just the random blocks with color halfway up. Okay, we don't really need fireworks star, so we can probably... Plus, there's nothing on it. It's just a normal... Just normal fireworks star that we have no use for. So we might as well just chuck that there. Okay, so now that we've done that challenge, that is challenge number three, reach the limit of the world complete. Next challenge is to sleep at the... And of course, we already have our bed. So all we really need to do is... Wait, what? Where's the ocelot gone? What? We're 100% locked in this house. Did it despawn because we went so high up? I think it despawned. Really? Oh, come on. And look at that. You can see the shadow of the island because the sun's there. So it's... <laughs> the shadow of the island is all the way. And we can see ourselves. Look. See, I'm waving. I'm, my shadow is waving back at me. Look at that. I'm very childish. Okay. I'm very childish. That is very amusing to me. The fact that I can see my own character's shadow waving back. I think it's hilarious. Okay. If you don't, then there's something wrong with you, not me. Okay. This should make it blatantly obvious. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we are going to move on. I don't think... Okay. No, we don't have a green carpet. But we might as well just put this down here. And we're just going to have a molly-coloured rug, apparently. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I think that's pretty cool. We, we can do that. Now, what else do we need? Okay. Really, we just need to wait for night time. Earlier, we were waiting, or in the last episode. No, I think it was this episode, actually. We were waiting for night to end so that we could build up. And now we want night back so that we can sleep and complete challenge number four. I think challenge number five is going to be a little bit difficult for us unless we just randomly get the thing we need from the random item generator. That would be very handy. How many blocks are down there now? It's mostly brown. We've gotten three concrete or three brown concrete powder blocks that are just down there right now. I think there's also grey and blue and pink. Or I think it might have been magenta, actually. But I don't actually remember for sure. Also, we've got another glass block. Hmm. Okay, I've got an idea. We are going to add a fourth window to this place, and we're going to put it right here. There we go. Nice. Just, I, I figured we might as well just have it on all the sides. I mean... There's not really any reason for it, but we've got it. We've got it now, so... This house is really looking quite ugly, to be fair. But it's also starting to become a little bit of a home. I mean, we've got a little carpet going. We do have another carpet block over here that we could place down. And we just got a horse spawn egg, and we have a saddle. So we can tame this horse. We're going to keep it in the house. We'll tame this horse. Okay, we'll put this carpet down to get a nice rainbow-coloured carpet going. We've got a little table here with a decorative skull. It's not a real skull, I promise. We didn't kill anyone. I promise, okay? It's a decorative skull, all right? We also got a grindstone, because we can repair and disenchant and just grind things on this, you know, like like this shovel. Yeah, like, exactly like that. We've got some tube coral block for maybe a fish tank or something later on. Why not? We also just have some shocker boxes and some chests going on here. Nothing else we really need. We could probably make some leather horse armor at some point, but let's... Okay, it's starting to get to night. We will spawn the horse in the morning. Let's let's watch the sun set. The sun, yeah, let's... Oh, the sun's... Oh, no, the sun's there. We can watch the sun set. It's quite nice with shaders on because it looks so much nicer. An lectern. We need this to cure the zombie villager, which I actually said last episode we were going to do. We were going to turn it into a librarian. And we've got the zombie villager's spawn egg right there, so now we just need a brewing stand and a fermented spider eye. And some glass bottles, too. And some blaze powder. But... Oh! The sun just disappeared. Okay. Alright. I'm going to take that as it being night now. 
and we are going to sleep. And I don't know why it gets laggy all of a sudden in this area. I don't understand. Every time I feel like I'm going to fall off because it gets laggy for no reason whatsoever. But we can sleep in the bed. Here we go. And this will be challenge number four. And that is challenge number four complete. There we go. So now the next challenge is to detonate TNT. This one is going to take a while. It may require us to make a mob spawner unless we can get, I don't know, gunpowder, more gunpowder. I mean, we've already got quite, or well, we got one gunpowder earlier, which is why I kept it. But we, if we get a creeper spawn egg, we're probably going to get a creeper spawn egg before anything else. But there is a chance just to get a TNT block as well in this randomizer challenge. So we can hope for that, and hopefully we do that, because we can't move on until we completed that. I feel like for the mob spawner, I feel like just a platform would be quite useful. And, speaking of which, actually, we got trap doors. So we can, we can actually use these. These are actually going to come in handy. Wow, something actually came in handy for once. We got another decorative skull. We'll put this one on our head. Yeah, we'll put this one on our head because this was the original. Let's place this horse down too. Of course it's a baby. Of course it's a baby and we can't tame it right now. But this guy is going to grow up. This guy doesn't really have a name right now. I probably shouldn't have placed it down because now it's probably going to despawn. But we'll leave this little guy here for now and hopefully... He'll grow up and we can tame him. Or we've got some more concrete powder. So we can do that. Our tree has grown too. We might as well cut that down. I mean, we don't really need much more wood right now. But we are going to need it at some point. So it's probably worth cutting down. And then that way it can be growing back. While we are working on this mob spawner. Actually, I know we've only completed... Actually, no, we completed two challenges in this episode. So that's quite good. This episode is 22 minutes long already. So I think we're going to cut down this tree and we are going to end this episode here. And we will do that in just a second. I hate when you get a random block in your item or random item in your inventory and it just resets the block you were breaking. It's kind of annoying, but we'll place this sapling there. Right, well, our ocelot friend is gone. What? Oh, I, I thought the horse had gone too then. I was looking around and I was like, what? How did this happen? But the horse is fine. We've got a little horse friend. His skin color matches, or I mean, just the color of the horse matches our gray walls. We've got a redstone block. I mean, we could use that to detonate the TNT, but, you know, it's nice to have a redstone block, I suppose. But we lost one friend, and we gained another. So that's pretty cool, right? At least this one we can actually ride. See? The little horse in the corner is excited. See? He's just excited as I am, right? But anyways, guys, if you are enjoying this series so far, make sure you stick around for the next episode, which will be out over the next few days. And I will see you all in the next video. Got a diamond hoe. Nice. Goodbye!